to make this all method available in our handlers, we'll create a dependency container with a post model and pass that from the main file all the way down to our get home handler. I'll make a new directory called posty, cd into it, and then we'll initialize a new go module using go mod init github.com, my username, and then posty. I'll open this up in VS Code and we'll start by creating our directory structure. We'll have a command directory, an internal directory, and an assets directory. Inside the command directory, we'll have our applications. In our case, we'll have a web app. Here, we'll put web application specific code, things like routes, handlers, middleware, and so on. In the internal directory, we'll have packages containing non application specific code, code that could be used and reused regardless of the type of application we are building, things like database models, validators, helper functions, and so on. So code living in this internal directory will be imported and used in whatever applications we have in the command directory. And finally, we have assets. Here we'll put things like HTML templates, database migration files, CSS, JavaScript, images, and so on. I'll go inside the web directory and create a new main.go file, package main, func main. Then we'll have a server, which we'll create using HTTP server, We'll need to provide a port, let's say 8000, and then a handler, which we don't have yet, so I'll just pass in nil. Then I'll do log print ln, listening on 8000, and we'll do server listen and serve. For the handler, we'll create a routes.go file, package main, we'll have a routes function, which will return an HTTP handler. And here we'll create our mux. We'll do HTTP new serve mux. We'll have mux handle func get slash, and then we need a home handler. I'll go ahead and create a new file called handlers .go. package main func get home. We'll have the response writer and the request pointer, and we'll simply write home. I'll go back to the routes file and use the get home function and then return the mux, go to the main file and call the routes function. Let's go ahead and open the terminal, run go run command slash web slash star. Go in the browser, localhost 8000 and there we go. Let's go ahead and have the home route render an actual HTML template. I'll go to assets, create a new directory called templates. We'll have a new file called home.page.html. We'll have home and this is my home page. I'll save this, go in handlers and here we'll do template error equals template parse files assets slash templates slash home page html we'll check if we have an error then we'll do http error we'll pass in the writer the error message and the 500 status code otherwise we'll do template execute pass it the writer and nil i'll restart the server go in the browser refresh and there we go we are now rendering html so we now have everything in place. It's time to create and connect to our database. The first thing we're going to do is install Goose. I'll search for Golang Goose. Let me just accept everything. And Goose is a database migration tool. This thing works with anything. It works with SQLite, Postgres, MySQL, and a bunch of other stuff. I don't even know what these are. I'll go and open the terminal, run the install command, We'll go ahead and create a migrations directory under assets. And then we'll run goose. We'll set the directory to assets migrations, create, and we'll create a post table. I'll go ahead and open the file. Here we'll create the post table and here we'll drop it. So we'll do create table posts. We'll have ID, which will be an integer, primary key, and auto increment. Then we'll have a title, varchar255, and then this will be not null. 
will have content, say text, not null, and then create it at date time, not null. And then here we'll do drop table posts. To make things easier, I'll also copy this and ask Timmy to generate some insert statements. I'll grab them, paste them right after we create the table, and we're good to go. I'll open up the terminal and run goose dir assets migrations, SQLi3, app db, and then up. And if we look here, we have an app db database. If I open it up, we have posts, and here are the 10 posts Timmy generated. Let's close this up and connect our database. I'll open up the main.go file and we'll do db error equals SQL open SQLite 3 and then dot app db. If we have an error, that's really bad, so we should just log fatal. Otherwise, let's go ahead and print the database. I just want to see it working. I'll restart the server. And we have an error saying unknown driver SQLite forgot an import. So we need to install this SQLite driver. I'll go in the browser, search for Golang SQLite driver. I think it's this one right here. Let's look for installation instructions. It's just go get and this one. I'll do this. And then here we'll do an unnamed import. And I think we're good to go. Let's restart. And it's now working. What I'll do now is go to our internal directory and create a new folder called models. Inside it we'll have a models.go file, package models. And here we'll create a new type post, which will be a struct. We'll have ID, which is an integer, title, which is a string, content, which is a string, and then create it at, which is a time, time. To group all post-related queries, I'll create a new directory called SQLite. Inside it, we'll have posts.go, package SQLite, and then I'll create a new type, post model, which will need a database connection. Moving on, we can create a function that will have the post model as a method receiver. And let's say this will be all. So this should return all the posts from our database. We'll return a slice of models.post and an error. Here we'll do statement, select ID, title, content, and create it at from posts, and let's also order by ID descending. We'll do rows error m, so our post model db query, and we'll pass it the statement. If we have an error, we'll return nil as the slice of models and the error. Return. Otherwise, we'll continue by initializing a slice of posts. So we'll do models post, and then we'll loop through the rows. We'll do rows next. We'll create a post model. And then error rows scan will have ID, title, content, and create it at. Make sure the order of the fields matches the select statement. Again, if we have an error, return nil and the error. Otherwise, we'll continue by appending the post to the post slice. So we'll do posts equals append posts and p. We'll check if rows has an error. And if that's the case, we'll do just as before, return nil and the error. Otherwise, we'll return posts and nil. Now, to make this all method available in our handlers, we'll create a dependency container with a post model and pass that from the main file all the way down to our get home handler. So I'll go to main.go and we'll create a type app 
that will have posts which will be of type pointer to SQLite post model. Then inside the main function, we'll create an app. Posts will do SQLite post model, and this needs a database. So we'll do db equals db. Now to pass this post model all the way down to the git home handler, we'll set app as the method receiver for routes. So we'll go here and do app star app, and then we'll do the same for get home. So we'll go here, app star app, go back to the main.go file. This will now be app routes. This will now be app get home. And now inside our get home function, we should be able to access app, which in turn allows us to access the post model. So here we should be able to do posts error equals app posts all. And then we'll check if we have an error. We'll do HTTP error, pass it the writer, the error message and 500. Otherwise, we'll take the posts and pass it to our home template. We'll do map string any. We'll have posts equals to posts. Then I'll go ahead and open up the home page. And here we'll do range posts. And so we are looping through the posts. We'll have article, let's say h2. Title, time, we'll do created at, and then another div for the content. With any luck, if we restart the server and go in the browser, refresh, here are our posts. Let's go to our post model and add another method to insert posts. So we'll do function post model insert. We'll have title and content as string and we'll only return an error. So if something goes bad, we'll return an error. Otherwise, we'll just return nil. Our statement will be insert into posts title content created at values question mark question mark and to get the time we can do date time now we'll execute this we'll do mdb exec pass it the statement title and content and finally return any error we might have so we have our insert method let's go ahead and add a new route i'll do get post slash create and then app get or maybe just create post. I'll go ahead and add that. I'll copy this, paste it in. We'll do create post. Remove all this and we'll return a template called post create page HTML. And let's also remove the data. I'll go ahead and create a new template. Post create page HTML, create post, we'll have a form. Action will be post create, method will be post. We'll do label, title, input, ID title, name, title. And then we'll have content. This one will be a text area. And finally, button create post. So this is just a simple form with title and content. I'll restart the server, go in the browser to localhost 8000, post create, posts create, and there we go. Let's go ahead and add the store handler. So we'll go the store route, sorry. We'll duplicate this one. It will be a post to post slash create and we'll call store post. I'll go to handlers, 
duplicate this one, we'll have store post. And if everything goes well, we'll do a redirect. So we'll do HTTP redirect. We'll pass it the response writer, the request. We'll redirect to the homepage with HTTP status found. Now we'll need to parse the form. And if we have an error, we'll just HTTP error, pass it the response writer, the error message, and 400. Otherwise, we can assume everything goes well, and we'll do error equals app posts insert request post form get title and then get content. Again, if we have an error, we can either return 400 or 500. And we should be good to go. I'll restart, go in the browser. This is my new post. Please work. Create post method not allowed. What the hell? Mm, what's happening? Maybe the routes? Oh, so we have posts create and post create here. We have post, so we need posts. I'll restart again. Go in the browser to posts create. Please work. Try to. Got it. Create post. And here it is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye bye.